Well, I'm going to tell you about the role that endocrine disruptors uh, have in the theory of type 2 diabetes. My name is Angel Nadal. I'm professor of physiology at IDIBE and Ciberdem at the University Miguel Hernández of Elche in Alicante, Spain. So the etiology of type 2 diabetes is based in the induction of insulin resistance and the disruption of pancreatic beta cell mass and function. Both genetic predisposition and environmental factors play key roles. Uh, our environment is very complex. It has multiple components that uh, are in our nutrition, stress, drugs, uh, also in cosmetics, the microbiome, infections, other diseases that we may have, and environmental chemicals. And important components of our environment are, are a particular type of uh, substances that are named endocrine disruptors. An endocrine disruptor is an exogenous chemical or a mixture of chemicals that interferes with any aspect of hormone action. And we are exposed to a great number of them. Uh, we are exposed in a daily basis because they are components of many of, of many uh, products that we use in, 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 in uh, every day. Uh, so how endocrine disruptors can produce uh, di type 2 diabetes or can predispose us to have uh, diabetes mellitus? Well, it is known that endocrine disruptors can produce insulin resistance in animal models. Uh, they can also disrupt pancreatic beta cell function or pancreatic beta cell mass. So they can produce either of, of them or they can produce all these effects at the same time. And how they do it? So during adulthood, but especially during development, during pregnancy and infancy, exposure to endocrine disruptors alter gene expression, alter the development and change the morphology and the function of important type of cells in metabolism. And that increases the occurrence of diabetes mellitus and is going to end in the increase in the prevalence of this uh, uh, pathology. What can, we, what can we do about it? What can be done? Well, we must be in mind that this is a global issue that requires a global solution. In any case, at individual basis, we can decrease endocrine disruptor exposure to some extent, although not completely, uh, and this is especially recommended during pregnancy and infancy. To know more about sources of diabetes promoting EDCs and reduction exposure strategies, you can read uh, the Ruiz and Collaborator article in Diabetes Care. And for further information, please visit the Endocrine Society webpage about endocrine disruptors. Thank you very much for your attention.